I've known Kings Weston since I moved to Bristol about 15 years ago. I came for the house, but what I couldn't understand was how the house just seemed to sit in the corner of an open field. That led to a whole process of researching more and more about the house and the grounds. Myself and my friend Tim Denning, who passed away in 2012, got really bitten by the history bug. We realised that there was a fantastic history at Kings Weston that people really didn't know about. At the same time, we recognised that there were lots of interest in the woodland and the, the surrounding area that we really wanted to share with people. And that's what led to the, the setting up of the Kings Western Action Group in April 2011. We work very closely with Bristol City Council on a number of the initiatives that we do and also on getting the message out there about Kings Western. The whole estate should be for the whole of the city, it's for the wider community. So we were trying to encourage as much use of the site by members of the public. What we want to try and do with Quag is to help open that up, so by clearing the brambles away, making it more accessible for people, it just opens up the whole site so members of the public will come and enjoy it. With our monthly working parties, we've tackled a lot of key areas on the estate. There's a ruined building that was designed by Sir John Vanborough. We have completely cleared the ruins of that area and we've archaeologically recorded them. We've cleared large swathes of an area called Penpole Point, a spectacular viewing point from which you could see the River Avon and the River Severn. We've tackled an 18th century viewing terrace on the far side of the park. It's in a very poor condition, but we've restored the views looking out from that, that viewing terrace back across Bristol, and people get a much better sense of how the landscape fits together. We recognise Kings Western is a special and unique place. It's not just a landscaped historic garden, it's also a much loved nature habitat for, for the local uh, community. So we, we need to have a, a balanced approach and the conservation management plan sets out priorities and how we can manage this estate into the future 